By the year 1864, Dobinier and Newland had given their laws. But the year 1869 was very significant in the history of classification of elements. This is because of the contributions of a brilliant scientist named Mendeleev. Let's see what he did. Mendeleev was aware of the concept of periodicity and atomic mass. He wanted to study these properties further. He started writing the symbols on the walls of his room. Then he wrote the atomic mass of each element next to their symbols. Further, he arranged the elements in increasing order of atomic mass. He wrote them in a single rhyme. He then marked the elements showing the same properties with the same color. Further, he bought the elements with similar properties one below the other. And finally, he arranged them in increasing order of atomic mass. He was very happy with his work. Based on this, Mendeleev had given his periodic law. According to his law, the physical and the chemical properties of the elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. Periodic function means that the properties of elements repeat when the elements are placed according to their atomic masses. So Mendeleev gave his periodic table. This is the Mendeleev's periodic table. It has eight vertical columns which are known as groups. It has six horizontal rows that are known as periods. He arranged the elements in increasing order of atomic mass. When he reached calcium, he observed that the element after calcium that is scandium, did not show properties similar to boron or aluminium. Neither did it show properties similar to carbon or silicon. So he placed scandium slightly towards the right of boron and aluminium in a separate group which he called group B. He did that for other elements as well. Whenever he reached any element such that its properties were not similar to elements before it, Say in this case zinc, the properties were not exactly the same as calcium, magnesium and beryllium. Neither were they similar to boron and aluminium. So he placed them in a different group, the group B. So all the elements in a particular group, in this case zinc, cadmium, mercury, they have the same properties. And the elements in group A, that is beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium and barium, they have the same properties. So this is true for all the elements in the periodic table. All elements belonging to a particular group have the same properties. Let's observe something now. Cobalt has atomic mass 58.93 and nickel has atomic mass 58.71. Mendeleev had placed the elements in increasing order of atomic masses. So why did he place cobalt before nickel? He should have placed nickel, uh, cobalt after nickel, isn't it? Mendeleev had also pr studied the properties of each and every element. So when he reached cobalt, he observed that the properties of cobalt were similar to these elements. And the properties of nickel were similar to palladium and platinum. So based on these properties, he placed cobalt before nickel in the periodic table and not after nickel. This was a very great achievement for Mendeleev. He was able to place cobalt accurately in the periodic table. Well, I'm sure by now you must have observed these three question marks and you must be wondering what are they for? Well, they are not the defects of Mendeleev's periodic table. According to Mendeleev, these positions belong to elements that would be discovered. 
let's focus on one question mark below aluminium. He said that this position belongs to an element that, that would be discovered later. He named that element Eka Aluminium. Eka comes from the Sanskrit word which means one. So this element lies one place below aluminium in the periodic table. Nobody had discovered Eka Aluminium so far. So no one knows anything about its properties. Right? Mendeleev said wrong. Based on its position in the periodic table, he said he could predict its properties. According to Mendeleev, the atomic mass of Eka Aluminium should be 68. It should form an oxide, E2O3, where E stands for Eka Aluminium. And it should form a chloride having the formula ECl3. Again, E stands for Eka Aluminium. He could predict all this simply based on where the gap was in the periodic table. Some years later, a French chemist discovered an element. He named it gallium after the historical name of France. Gallium was one place below aluminium in the periodic table. So this was Eka aluminium. So were Mendeleev's predictions right? Let's see. The atomic mass of gallium is 69.7. It forms Ga2O3 and a chloride GaCl3. So yes, Mendeleev's predictions were absolutely right. He predicted some other elements as well like scandium, germanium, rhenium and technetium. So Mendeleev had predicted the properties of an element, Eka aluminium, which was similar to the element that was discovered later, gallium. He repeated the same for an element, Eka silicon. The properties of Eka silicon were similar to the element that was discovered later, germanium. These elements, germanium and gallium, were not discovered. They were the undiscovered elements and Mendeleev was able to predict their properties. This is therefore a great achievement for Mendeleev. So let's see some of the merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. He was able to group the elements in a very systematic manner. He had left gaps in the periodic table. These gaps were left for the undiscovered elements. And he was also able to predict the properties of these undiscovered elements. Also, one more achievement for Mendeleev was that he was able to correct some atomic masses. When he placed gold and platinum based on their properties in the periodic table, he found that the earlier known atomic masses were not correct. So he was also able to correct their atomic masses. Hence, this was a great achievement for Mendeleev. Because of his contributions to the classification of elements, he is known as the father of periodic table. Mendeleev died without a Nobel Prize, which is considered to be a very big honor. But he wound up receiving a bigger honor than the Nobel Prize. An, an element discovered later, having atomic number 101, is named after Mendeleev. It's called Mendelevium and has the symbol MD. The Russian Chemical Society yearly awards the Mendeleev Golden Medal to scientists for their contribution to chemical science and technology. So which was the element whose properties were predicted on the basis of its position in the Mendeleev's periodic table? Was it aluminium, gallium, sulfur or silicon? Let's see. So when Mendeleev gave his periodic table, aluminium was already known. He predicted the properties of an element that was one place below aluminium. He named it Eka aluminium. Its properties were similar to an element which was discovered later, the element gallium. So the element whose properties were predicted on the basis of its position in the Mendeleev's periodic table was gallium. In spite of so many merits of Mendeleev's periodic table, there are some defects in his table as well. Let's see what these problems in this table are. The problem of isotopes. Isotopes are elements with the same atomic number and different atomic mass. Hydrogen has three isotopes. Hydrogen, protium and deuterium. 
Mendeleev had placed the elements in increasing order of atomic mass. So he should have incorporated these isotopes of hydrogen as well. But the problem with this table is that one position belongs to one element. Since this position belongs to hydrogen, the isotopes that is protium and deuterium have no place in the periodic table. Hence they cannot be accommodated in his table. The other problem with his table was that he had grouped some chemically dissimilar elements together. So he had placed the elements in the separate groups A and B, elements belonging to a particular group, that is group A, they have the same properties and elements belonging to group B, they have the same properties. But the problem was that he had placed copper and silver in group 1 along with elements like lithium, but they are not chemically similar. In spite of not being chemically similar, they are placed in the same group, that is group 1. Similarly, he had placed elements like gold and platinum, wide apart in the periodic table, even though they are chemically similar. So even though they are chemically similar elements, gold and platinum, Mendeleev had placed them wide apart in his periodic table. Another problem with this table was that it says nothing about the electronic arrangement of the elements. Electronic configuration of elements is a very important property for the classification of elements. Since Mendeleev classifies the element on the basis of atomic masses, it says nothing about the electronic arrangement of the elements. Because of these defects, Mendeleev's periodic table had to be discarded. But his efforts and his contributions to the classification of elements is greatly appreciated. Hence, he is known as the father of periodic table.